What's up, everybody? Before I get to the uh, virtual con from um, you know San Diego Comic Con pops, um, I do want to point out that I did have a, a pop arrive as sort of a surprise here. I'm not sure if I spoke with this viewer directly or not. Um, his name is Dwayne, um, at least based on the packaging. But you know, some people go by different names on YouTube and Instagram. So again, Dwayne, forgive me if I'm not recalling us interacting in some way directly. You know, but this was basically a surprise when it comes down to it. And I do appreciate it, Dwayne. I already know what it is, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you all the pop that he sent my way. Okay, so we have there the Chase Joker, of course, the Jack Nichols Nicholson Joker. Um, this is one I actually already have in my collection, but mine, I think the box did come just a little bit damaged. Um, I got it from, I can't remember which company it was, but I ordered with at least two different companies. And um, yeah, my box came just a little bit damaged. Now, it's really minor, but this one is really in pristine condition. This one looks better. You know, the box is in better shape, it seems like, all the way around. But yeah, this is a very cool figure here, and I really do appreciate it. Again, Dwayne, thank you for um, sending this my way. And um, I don't, like I said, I don't know if we actually interacted or not, if you go by a different name on Instagram or YouTube or whatever it may be. But regardless, I do appreciate the thoughtful gift that you sent my way. Again, this is a very cool figure. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in box for right now. Actually, like I said, I've shared it on the channel um, previously um, because I do have it in my collection. But um, that one there is still very much appreciated. Now, to help me out with uh, the virtual con, you know, for the summer, I did reach out to some people and some people reached out to me and I was able to work it out with one person to where basically I paid for the figures, but she handled um, securing them for me and sending them my way. And then there was another individual that I did a trade with, but I'm going to start off with what I received from Jessica. Um, Jessica is in Australia and um, she actually did send some little... <laughs> Uh, this is really cool. She sent a postcard and also a little mini book here along with the figure. She really did not have to do that, but I do appreciate it. This is pretty cool here. So first you see there, it says rocklilywombats.com. And wombats there, they, they are so cool looking to me. I really like the way that they look there. And that's a really awesome picture. And then on the back here, she did write here about what's going on here. It says, hi, Franklin. Thank you for all your efforts in helping us collectors. I hope you love this little gift, a very famous Aussie koala. P.S. This card is supporting my friend's wombat sanctuary, which is rebuilding after the bushfires. Much Funko love and appreciation from Australia, Jess. Okay, and you see it says there is some information about rockwillywombats.com. So you can check that out if you are interested. And I'll hold that there just for a moment in case you're interested. You can check that out. Okay, some ways to support the animals there. But again, that is a very cool postcard. And she was uh, referring to, as far as the famous koala, Blinky Bill. <laughs> okay, so Blinky Bill, this is actually a mini book based on this character. And it's like, you know, legit book, you know, legit stories in here. So that is pretty cool. And mini books like this, I very rarely have seen them. And so, yeah, this one is awesome. This will be an awesome keepsake. And I really do appreciate that, Jessica. Now, as far as the figures that um, she helped me secure... Um, you know that I had to go for <laughs> the Masters of the Universe figures, and I totally missed the um, the drop for these here in the States. So, uh, yeah, I was very glad that, you know, she was able to help me out to secure these two. And I actually am going to get these out to take a closer look at them. Um, we have here, of course, Blast Attack and Clawful. Clawful is the main one that I really want to add into my collection. Um, I haven't actually looked at the back of these yet. Okay, it's just... Uh, that more recent wave of Master of the Universe figures, but yeah, was really looking forward to receiving both of these, and I'm so glad that Jessica was willing to help me. Blast Attack is such a crazy looking character here. He, he's just all over the place in terms of his design. I really do like his weapon. It looks almost like a um like a motorized axe or something. I don't even know what exactly is going on there because I really don't remember this um character to be honest, but um. Yeah, when you just look at him, it looks like somebody turned on a randomizer because he is just all over the place with his design. He has a almost Darth Vader-like helmet there. Um, his face is really weird looking. I mean, he has a color on his face that you don't even see anywhere else on his body. That very light green there. The red eyes, he's got the sharp teeth, and the teeth are actually off-center because you see he has three teeth there. He's got the wide nose going on there and everything. Even the way this helmet is designed, 
seems very impractical because it looks like sharp edges there coming into his face basically which is really odd you know he's got the gold body gray arms the dark green boots and gloves i mean yeah he's just all over the place with his design but i mean he definitely looks like a master of the universe character you know with his build um you know how how muscular he looks basically and then he has all sorts of like wires and things running through his body as well it looks like a motorized suit that he's in basically so yeah again this character is just all over the place really interesting choice for Funko to focus on that character there I do like his look overall but he's just he's weird he's definitely a, a weird one and then of course we have Clawful which is really awesome um, I might have had this figure as a kid I can't remember for sure though but um yeah I definitely remember him having that giant claw there yeah so I really like the look of this one and his weapon is, I guess, um, I'm not even sure exactly what you would call his weapon there. Sort of like a mace, maybe? But I, I don't know. It's, it's tough to even tell, to be honest. But, yeah, he looks really cool up close. Got the giant teeth going on. Okay, and then he has, you know, some textured bumps going on there as well. Yeah, he, he just looks really awesome. I, I really do like this one. And if I could actually have the original action figure, I think I would like that as well. Because, yeah, the original action figure is cool with the giant claw there really awesome there yeah so yeah i definitely like these two glad i had them in my collection now i'm trying to get a lot of the recent master of the universe figures i'm not really trying to be a completionist but i do want the majority of them at least there are some variants that i'm really not worried about but um yeah really happy with those two there and like i said especially because i missed the drop i'm glad that jessica was willing to uh help me out with that and she did send another figure my way also a bakugo which um, I'm not really into My Hero Academia. I did start the first season. I watched a good number of episodes, but I just didn't stick with it. Um, I just haven't really been into um, anime a whole lot, to be honest, recently. At least the, some of the newer anime, even ones that have been around for you know, a good number of years now. I'm still just not really big on them. I watch stuff here and there. But um, I mainly got Bakugo just in case any of my friends needed help. But it seems like um, most of my close friends were actually able to secure him. So what I was going to do is if the um, if the number of likes had a big increase on Funko News, then I was going to give one away. And I still may do that. I still may do that. But I know I'm going to give um, a Bakugo away probably by the end of the year at least. So we'll see what happens with that but uh yeah like i said i mainly secured that just in case a friend needed it but it seems like my friends my close friends are good to go as far as that's concerned uh but i'm gonna keep things moving here because i did do a trade like i said as well to help me some secure some other figures here so i got one here that is in a sorter i'm gonna go ahead and get this one out um oh and the sorter actually has the correct name on there but let me go ahead and open this up and this one i don't think i'm going to unbox it i'll just show you all what it is here Okay, so we have Dwight Schrute there, and this is Dwight holding Princess Unicorn. Okay, so this is one that I really, really wanted to get. I, I just love the idea of getting something that, um, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, ironic in a way because, of course, he was selling these dolls here at a marked up price. And then I'm sure a lot of people wanted to get this figure, hoping that the value would jump up as well. And I'm sure some people did flip this pop. So it's just kind of ironic in that way. And that was a pretty good episode as well. The Office had some really good Christmas episodes, you know. But um, yeah, this was really awesome. And I think the doll looks awesome in there. You notice, of course, it has the pop culture sticker because um, it's from Australia. I'm not really big on stickers regardless. You know, I do think the pop culture one looks all right. But it doesn't make a difference to me. I just wanted to make sure I had this actual pop. So really happy to have this in my collection. Now, like I said, I got this via trade. And then another figure I was able to secure thanks to a trade is this fella here, Black Lightning. And, um, you know, the uh, person that sent it to me was nice enough to send it in a hard stack. And this hard stack is um, different from the ones I've had before because you lift it off like that, you know, and then you can slide the figure out from the side like that. So that is a pretty cool hard stack. And he did let me know up front that um, some paint did get on the window, but it's barely noticeable. Like I didn't, I couldn't even see it at first. There is a little paint smudge on the window. That happens sometimes when figures get placed into the boxes a little bit too soon, you know. And um, if anybody knows a good way to get the paint off of the window without damaging the plastic, please do let me know. 
Um, I haven't tried rubbing alcohol on it yet. I might try that, but if anybody has another solution that will not damage the plastic, definitely let me know. But like I said, it's not super noticeable, and I just really want to make sure I had this figure. Of course, this figure is limited to 3,000 pieces, and um, I really wanted this one. I, I did watch some of the series. I didn't really stick with it. Maybe I'll go back and give it a try again uh, later on, but... Um, I mainly wanted it just because, you know, to be honest, it's, it's a black superhero. And, uh, yeah, it's just really nice to have, you know, some black superheroes represented with the Funko Pops. So, yeah, I really want to make sure that I was able to get this figure. Um, I wasn't sure at first how I was going to secure it. But, uh, yeah, I did have somebody from Australia reach out to me, somebody that I've traded with in the past before. So I did trust him, you know, to work out a trade there. And um, I already sent figures his way. Hopefully he's received them by the time he's checking out this video but yeah, I'm very thankful that he helped me out to secure Black Lightning there. And um, I don't know if Funko intends to do like another variant of Black Lightning or not. Um, you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But I'm just really happy to have this one. And I am going to keep, I will, we'll put him right back into the hard stack after this video here. You know, because um, I want to take good care of that one. And um, I do want to show you all that with this trade, I also did get another bakugo again just in case friend you know a friend needed some help you know so again i was trying to look out for friends but you know my friends uh they either jumped on it or some of them find found another way to secure a bakugo so now i do have two of these and um one of them like i said i hope to give away if the views on funko news do improve um you know because Right now, it's still like around 10% or less of the viewers that actually take the time to like the video, which is only a second, you know, but um, yeah, hopefully that will improve and then I'll do a, a giveaway for Bakugo. And at the end of the year, I've said this before, my plan is to take all of my favorite pops from this year and I want to do a video on them. And then the ones that don't really fit into my collection, I'm going to give some away at, and that'll be at the end of the year. So um, both of these Bakugos eventually will be part of giveaways, basically. But um, yeah, it's just going to take some time, I guess, you know, like for the views to improve, not views, the likes to improve on Funko News. And then, like I said, my end of the year idea as well, you know, of course, will be at the end of the year, you know. So, yeah, so eventually I will find a home for those figures there. But yeah, the other figures that I have here, you know, this unexpected Joker Chase, definitely appreciate that. Um, you know, the Motu figures here, the Master of the Universe figures, really awesome. And that's such a relief. Actually, my Motu collection, I'm going to have to start stacking them up to the ceiling pretty much because I got a lot of them now. But I I'm definitely happy to have them. And then, you know, Dwight with Princess Unicorn, Black Lightning absolutely amazing you know a good feeling to have these into my collection now so yeah big thank you to the people that helped me out with this convention um i really do appreciate that and um it, that's just a great thing about the community some of the figures that seem like you might never have a chance at them if you actually build up you know um and you, you basically interact with the community get to know people you know over time you'll have people that will look out for you people can be just really amazing within this community but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that definitely let me know what you think about the figures that i got here i'm not gonna run back through all the previous figures that i got from this con but i was able to secure some other ones again thanks to some help with friends as well i was able to get some other figures some really awesome ones from that convention and of course nycc is upon us so we'll see what happens there but uh thank you all for taking the time to check out this video and i'll talk to you all again real soon